An attack like this is an attack not only on the school district, but it's also an attack on our students and their families. A prank goes too far. Personal information belonging to hundreds of students is hacked. The big question tonight, are their identities safe? Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Natasha Brown in for Jessica today. The data breach was first detected at the Downingtown Area School District last week. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe joins us live from Downingtown now. So, Howard, who do district leaders say is responsible for all of this? They say a student was the hacker behind all of this. However, they also say that no student's information was manipulated and that this hack is now contained. It makes me kind of nervous knowing somebody could hack into our school system. Students learning one of their classmates hacked their school's data systems. An attack like this is an attack not only on the school district, but it's also an attack on our students and their families. The breach was first discovered Friday, October 11th. Officials say a student used coding methods to gain access to a student portal known as Naviance. The website helps students with their post high school plans. It looks like it was what we call an account takeover. So the hacker was able to get a teacher's login credential information. And from there, they could access all of the students' information. Mary Levine is the security engineer for Checkpoint Software. October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month. They say we should all take precautions now. What individuals can do to protect against that are pretty simple things. Have a strong password and change it as frequently as you can. A district spokesperson says the hacker gained access to a range of private information, student identifications, grade point averages, addresses, phone numbers, genders, and ethnicities. Officials say the attack wasn't malicious. They say a student wanted to gain a competitive advantage in a student prank known as senior water games. That's when students go around town shooting water guns at each other. I trust my school district and I trust that they're handling it and I trust that they're keeping my you know our information you know confidential mm -hmm. and I know they have a handle on things now in addition to individuals changing their passwords the district says they're also modifying their internal systems to avoid another breach live in downtown Howard Monroe CBS 3 eyewitness news thanks Howard a